I've been full-time in my Chrysler Pacifica minivan for two years now. After doing so many no-build minivan tours on my channel, I've been able to consider a lot of different builds and to find out what works best for me. This was my first no-build camping setup. It was like this when Bob Wells did my van tour last year. Those seats will be going down in the new arrangement. It's perfectly clean now. Oh boy, that feels so good. It smells really nice too, like a brand new car. These are those puzzle pieces of uh, thick foam to help cover and even out the floor. So the next step is what I use as a carpet pad. It helps protect everything underneath there from getting a lot of dust and so forth down under the carpet. And then the carpet and then vinyl on top of that. And this is the original carpet that I had two years ago. And I'm telling you, it's like brand new. I wondered if it would even smell bad after two years. But this wonderful plastic, it's like what you put under an office chair as the nubby so it doesn't slide around. But that has kept this carpet like brand new, this light colored carpet. Okay, we're putting it back together. Everything was out. Got the carpet straightened out there. The bed is in. The cabinets are over there. And there's gonna be a good space right here on the floor. What do you suppose this contraption is? It's kind of sitting up straight. It looks like it uh, has adjustments you can make. And surprise, this is my bed. Okay, watch, that's pretty much sitting up straight. And there's another level. And this is the way that I usually sleep with the head up just a little bit, and I'll show you from a different angle. This is showing it from just a little different angle with the head up just a little bit. This is my mattress. I got it at Joanne Fabric. It's five inches of nice firm foam. I believe it was 25 by 74 or five. Under the bed is a nice long bin on rollers can be opened from either side. I can put folded clothes in there that are not crammed into a pillow cover. Now, more cabinets go in. I love these cabinets. This is the first cabinet that goes in, and the second one has little wheels that go right in those grooves there, fit perfectly. The top can come off. It can be open from the top, but this is the first layer here. Snapshot, snapshot, opens this way, opens on all sides. Lots of floor space here. I've got my little, very tiny refrigerator, but it is small enough that I can just sit on it and then swing my legs in, no problem. Don't have to get in on my knees and I don't need a step anymore. So then, behind the front seats, I've got my new cabinets, which I love. Lots of storage space there, but that's not all. Got two more back here, and these are the bigger ones. There's some space there between the wall, and that's a place that I can put several things. I think I'm gonna use the space between this cabinet and the wall to hang some clothes. I've got it figured out, but I don't have what I need to do it yet. So I'll show that in a future video. And right there, that is my TV stand. It tightens up into the cup holder. And at the end of the video, I will show you how I use it. I love that thing. So that's the whole interior there. The potty goes there and I'll show you that in just a second because I want to show you exactly how it works. People have questions sometimes. From the back with it all completed, quite a lot of space right here. Still a little bit of Arizona dust here and there so forgive the dust. Under the bed there is storage. I've got some shoes right there. More space here. 
could even use another cabinet here or I could slide this big cabinet all the way back and have more floor space in the front but this will do for now something new is gonna go right where that bluetti is something new and exciting gonna be a big change looks nice very comfy bed and spacious now I'm gonna walk around and show it to you from this angle this is the storage unit under the bed here is some space too I had been putting my computer back here and some other things these cabinets are really nice they open that way wires <laughs> things I don't use very often things I use a little more often things I use all the time this is mostly food back here things that are easy to get to this is paper products and things that I need at night this one opens like that so it opens on all sides So I pulled the potty over to show you exactly how it works. It doesn't look like much yet. All right, so here's how it works. Down inside is a stand sport, and down inside there is storage. And in there I keep the, these are the bedpan liners that turn to gel, and they really, really absorb. I also like to keep bags in there. I prefer the Glad leak-proof bags, and those can go in there. And on top of that goes the bowl. So there's what it looks like without the bag. And for the ladies, without using the bag and the bedpan liners, if you were out boondocking, you could take this out and dump it in the woods. They say it's good for preventing predators. Anyway, I know a lot of ladies use a uh, pee bottle, and this could be used just like you would use that, except for those of us who can't hover too well, this is a way to sit down. Now, for those of you who can't visualize how it goes together, so with this seat up, I put the bag on, then I put one or two, then all you do is close the lid, and you are ready for the night. Easy access from the bed. Here's a nice tray that I found that fits on the headrest there. I showed you this little fireplace before, but I didn't show you how I actually use it. I don't know how well you can take a video of a video, but this is my main phone right there, my big screen phone. And I'm watching it on my little TV stand here. It goes in the cup holder. And that light you see, well, of course, there's my little fireplace over there. That blue light is a uh, sonic rodent repellent. And then, of course, I've got my little lamp here. It feels so roomy. I almost feel like I'm outside of the campfire. So cozy.